So what is decentralized and why is it the future of the internet? Well, let's start out with the word decentralized. You guys are probably uh, seeing that word in the news. Decentralized, decentralizing, decentralized. What, what the heck does that mean when it pertains to uh, internet related stuff? The, the simple and easy way to answer the question is for a platform to be decentralized, for something to be decentralized, it means to be owned by the users. It means to be owned by the customers and the people that are using it. That's what it means. So in other words, uh, you have uh, what they call Web 2.0 companies. Like Web 1.0 was you know, uh, websites that are first being put out, informational websites, like the very first websites that started cropping up back in 2001, 2002. And then Web 2.0 came along. And Web 2.0 was basically that you would have these centralized companies that come along, and these are gatekeepers. Uh, Google is a gatekeeper. It connects uh, people to the Internet, to different websites. Facebook is a gatekeeper. It connects people to people. Amazon is a gatekeeper because it connects customers to products. So you have all these different uh, gatekeepers that are out there. These companies are, are uh, known as uh, companies that are centralized. In other words, there's, you know, one big Google. Like, Google is not, you know, a bunch of, like, a uh, ton of small companies, like, all put together. It's, it's one company. Amazon is one company. Uh, same thing with the others. They are centralized. To be decentralized means to not have a central... Uh, a thing that runs the whole organization or business. To be decentralized means that there's no um, specific billionaire or no board of directors that basically like owns or controls it. So to be decentralized means that it's, it's owned by the users, it's owned by the customers. How do you have equity? You own the crypto token. So that's why uh, crypto comp I say crypto companies, it's more like uh, blockchains, blockchain companies, blockchain organizations, uh, also known as DAOs, D-A-O-S, D-A-O, mainly uh, decentralized autonomous organizations are what they stand for. So all of this, the, all of this stuff is what is known as decentralized. And the way that you would have equity in it is you would want to buy the crypto token of that particular uh, DAO or that particular uh, blockchain. So you buy the crypto token. The token basically represents equity within the ecosystem, within the blockchain, within the DAO. So that's, that's what decentralized means. And it's the future of the Internet because... I, I really think that we're heading into a direction. We're heading into what people are calling Web 3 or Web 3.0, the next version of the Internet. And that's going to be a place where you're going to have Facebook without Facebook. You're going to have Google without Google. You're, you're going to have the same type of technology, but instead of it being owned by uh, you know just a small group of people, it's going to be a different platform that is owned by the users owned by regular people, regular customers. And that's that's the direction that things are going. And that's why this crypto stuff is so popular. The blockchain stuff is so popular. That's why you have an exodus out of Silicon Valley right now, where you have uh, some of the you know smartest people, smartest developers, um, investors, executives, et cetera. There's an exodus out of Silicon Valley right now into all of this uh, blockchain stuff because it's the new and exciting thing. It's the direction where everything is kind of heading. Um, but the main takeaway here is that when you hear the word decentralized, it basically means that it's something that's owned by uh, the users and that the users control it. The users will vote on things. The users will nominate uh, different people to run this and different people to do that. And uh, anytime they want to do something new, the whole community votes on it. 
So that's that's kind of what it means and uh, why I think it's you know the future. 